contra a sua bancada do PT. E depois passa para 600. They represent the opposite sides of the political spectrum, but Jair Bolsonaro and Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva seem to agree on one thing. Ou seja, somente assim, Lula. You want to control the media so you can continue lying. You lie every day. You lie and deny, lie and deny. In a 90-minute debate where the candidates could roam the stage, former President Lula da Silva accused the incumbent of downplaying the COVID-19 pandemic, which killed 680,000 Brazilians. You made fun of the sick. You said that those who took the vaccine would turn into alligators. There isn't in the history of any government in the world someone that played with the pandemic and with death like you did. Bolsonaro shifted the focus, pointing out that Lula and his workers' party were at the center of one of Brazil's largest corruption scandals and blamed them for the economic recession during Dilma Rousseff's government. Brazil's economy shrank by 7 percent during 2015 and 2016 when the Workers' Party was governing the country. Was there a pandemic? No. Was there a war in Ukraine? No. There was a lot of corruption in Brazil. Political analyst Tiago Aragão says the debate was a tie. So both candidates, they knew their weak spots, they knew how to attack the, each other. And that was it, a tech and very, very little proposal, close to none from each side. The battle in the next two weeks is to win over undecided voters. Lula has a shorter hill to climb. During the first round, he had six million votes more than Bolsonaro. But the president is putting up a tough fight by reducing oil prices and distributing handouts to the poor. Bolsonaro! In the streets, the rivalry continues as if the election were a football match. I'm voting for Bolsonaro because the economy is back on track. As they say, you don't change the players if your football team is winning. In Lula's time, food prices were lower. The poor could buy a TV set, a fridge. Now, there's no money. People at this market are an example of how divided Brazilians are and how uncertain Brazil's future is. Monica Yanaki of Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro.